everybody, Mrs. Bodishan here. So today we're gonna to be doing a metal reactivity lab. Teachers out there, I went ahead and put this lab report on Teachers Pay Teachers for free, so go ahead and grab it on the link below in the description. Um, students, go over lab safety first with your teacher before you start this. You're gonna see a pre-lab set of questions to do before you even get started with the experiment. Answer those. And then when you're ready to go, you will see that you have a data table to fill out. You will be testing four different metals. You're going to be testing calcium, iron, copper, and magnesium. And you're going to see if they react. Now, what do we mean by react? We mean, are they going to bubble, fizz, and foam? Do they change color? Is there steam or heat being produced? So these are the things that you're going to want to look for in today's lab. So we're going to add three different liquids on top of these, um, different chemicals, hydrochloric acid, you're gonna add some ferric nitrate, and then you're gonna add some zinc nitrate. Each one, I need you to fill out, first of all, did it react, yes or no, and then your observations, things that you're seeing. Um, helpful hint, wait a second or two before you write down that it did not react. Some of these are slow to start, okay? So go ahead, check this lab out, and fill this out as you go. Okay, so I went ahead and I labeled our metals for you. We put them in a little well plate. You don't need a whole lot of each sample. We're gonna go ahead and start with hydrochloric acid, and we're gonna go straight down the row so we can keep it nice and organized and neat, and we know which one is which. Um, at this point, I need you to look at your lab report and start writing if it is reacting, or if it is not reacting, and then what observations are you seeing? Remember, you're looking for bubble, fizzing, foaming, changing colors, steaming, heating up, anything that you're seeing that it's changing, I need you to go ahead and write that down in the observations box. Let's go ahead and do our second one. This is gonna be iron three nitrate, or ferric nitrate, and we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit in each well. All right, and our last one is gonna be our zinc nitrate. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit in each well. Again, go ahead and write down your observations, but remember to look back at the past wells because I can say that there are some that will start to react at a later time than initially. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a close-up of what this final product looks like so you can see it up close, which wells have truly reacted and which ones haven't, especially the ones that reacted late. Here you go. Okay, so now that you're analyzing your data from the lab experiment, I wanna just go over some of the basics of metal reactivity and non-metal reactivity from the periodic table. So this is gonna be your overall trend, okay? So there's always exceptions to the rules, but this is your overall trend here. So metal reactivity does increase as you go down and to the left, and a non-metal reactivity does increase as you go up and to the right. Notice I've grayed out our noble gases because remember noble gases have a full octet or a full outer shell like according to helium, right? So it has no a reason to react whatsoever. Um, now, if you look at our periodic table, I went ahead and I outlined which metals we just experimented with in today's lab. 
And I want you to think about that arrow trend for increasing metal reactivity as you answer your post lab questions. Think about your data, think about this trend, and then try to answer those questions and see what you can come up with. Thank you all so much for watching. Like, subscribe to see more. I'll see y'all later.